Reverse total shoulder arthroplasty is a very interesting to, uh, new addition to uh, what we do in, in joint replacement. We're talking about shoulder replacement and total shoulder arthroplasty, just as if uh, the patient's had a knee replacement, which people are familiar with, or a hip replacement. Well, a lot of people don't realize we do shoulder replacements. In an older age group uh, that has both the combination of arthritis and the lack of a good muscle meaning the rotator cuff, when they lose the function of the rotator cuff, a standard replacement doesn't give them function. It may relieve their pain, but they can't utilize their arm. They can't lift their arm. They don't have motor function that makes their outcome good. Years ago, a French uh, orthopedist designed a reverse, and what we mean by that is we literally reverse the the mechanics of the shoulder, the, the ball becomes the cup and so to speak the cup becomes the ball of the shoulder and it changes the mechanics to allow other muscles to move the shoulder and it's been a phenomenal addition to our armamentarium in the last 10 years. It treats arthritis and in some cases uh, um, it treats a very bad rotator cuff tear that although they may not have arthritis, their function is so poor it's the only way that we can provide them with any uh, functional ability to lift their arm, do activities of daily living. So on occasion we do it just because of a really bad rotator cuff tear, but in general it just treats, it treats patients with arthritis. The ideal candidate is an elderly patient and I'm from when I say that, 75 or above, who has bad arthritis, who doesn't have very good muscle function, that's still healthy, has no significant heart or lung problems that we know is going to be able to utilize this prosthesis well. Um, but the reason to do it is primarily pain. We keep, I've mentioned function, but pain is the primary reason we do it. When pain gets severe enough that they have pain every day, they have pain at night, uh, that's the primary reason I do total shoulder arthroplasty. Reverse total shoulder arthroplasty is remarkable. Routinely in two weeks they come in, they can lift their arm overhead. Um, I occasionally do some physical therapy for them but I don't require it and in about half the patients I don't do any of it because they function so well. Um, re usually requires in a, a little bit younger patient a one-day hospital stay. Uh, the other patients a two-day hospital stay, but it's not a lot of physical therapy. Um, it's more the patients in the hospital are more for pain control. So they function very well, and they function much quicker with a better, quicker outcome than a standard total shoulder arthroplasty. We kind of limit their activity, or I personally limit their activity for about a month. Um, they want to do it faster, and I kind of limit their activity because I, there are some tissue healing that I want done for that first month. And then I uh, routinely let them do whatever they're capable of doing with it. I encourage them to go to the internet, to look at the procedure, to understand the procedure because we, it's new and we're changing mechanics. We're changing the mechanics of their shoulder. It's very hard to understand. So, uh, you know, uh, watching things on a video certainly helps. I also encourage them to, to talk to other patients that have had the procedure. Um, that speaks thousands of words. Uh, those people do well, they are, have good pain control, they're very functional very quickly, and uh, I really encourage them to search out people who have had the procedure done.